AI world is moving fast towards AI agents. AI agents are autonomous pieces of software which can accomplish any task with the help of large language models which presumably humans can do in terms of computing. Now another field is emerging quite rapidly and it is the multi-agent frameworks where agents are collaborating and coordinating with each other to perform a complex task. Chat Dev is one such project which aims to be a replacement of the whole software house. In this video, I am going to show you how you can get this Chat Dev installed locally and how you can create a software out of it quite easily. Chat Dev stands as a virtual software company that operates through various intelligent agents holding different roles including CEO, Chief Product Officer, CTO, CIO, Programmer, Reviewer, Tester, Art Designer and the list goes on and on. It is well described by this photo where you can see that everyone is collaborating and coordinating in order to accomplish a task. Whether it is a tester, coder, designer or whatever they are just coordinating with each other this is another diagram which shows it in more flow like structure so these agents form a multi-agent organizational structure and are united by a mission to revolutionize the digital world through programming the agents within chat dev collaborate by participating in specialized functional seminars including tasks such as designing coding testing and documenting the primary goal of chat tab is to offer an easy to use, highly customizable and extendable framework which is based on large language models and serves as an ideal scenario for studying collective intelligence. So, Given a complex task like writing software, a multi-agent approach would break down the task into subtasks to be executed by different roles such as software engineer, product manager, designer, QA, engineer and so on and so forth and then have different agents accomplish different subtasks. Different agents might be built by prompting one LLM or if you prefer multiple LLM you don't have to use one and they can be used to carry out different tasks for example to build a software engineer agent and then um, you just might ask the LLM that you are a programmer or developer in writing clear efficient code to go write this code in Java or Python or whatever. And in many companies and enterprises, managers routinely decide what roles to hire and then how to split complex projects like writing a larger piece of software or preparing a research project into smaller tasks to assign to employees with different specialities. Using multiple agents is an really analogous. Each agent implements its own workflow, has its own memory, and then it also remembers how uh, much it has done and how much is spending and if it needs help from any other agent. How good is that? So this results in a cacophony of LLM calls and message passing between agents that can result in very, very complex workflows. Now, a lot of tools are already available like Autogen, Crew AI, and Langgraph. Yesterday, I did a video on Upsonics Tiger, which provide really rich ways to build multi agent solutions to the problem. If you are interested in playing with a fun multi-agent system, then I think you should really um, have a look at this chat dev which we are going to install today and then see how it goes. Well, enough theory. Let's go to my local system and then we will uh, try to get it installed and then we will see how it works. This is my local system where I'm running Ubuntu 22.04. I have 32 GB of memory and my uh, GPU card has 16 GP of uh, VRAM. Let me clear my screen. Sorry about that. Let me go up. So this is my memory. The first thing we need to do is to just git clone this chat dev repo, which I just showed you. So let's enter here. Also make sure you have Anaconda installed because that is one of the prerequisites. If you don't know what Anaconda is, I would highly suggest just search my channel and you will see what Anaconda is because it just keeps everything simple and straightforward for you and it won't impact your rest of the system. Okay, so the repo is installed. 
let's go into this repo which is chat dev let me clear my screen this is a content of it by the way and this is how we create the conda environment so i'm just creating a new environment called as chat dev underscore conda underscore env and i'm using python 3.9 with it so it is going to install everything within this conda environment and it won't impact your existing installation that is done let me activate it and once it it's activated you can see that it is visible in this parenthesis we already are in this chat dev directory let me clear my screen let's install all the requirements and this might take a bit of a time let's wait for it to finish that is done let's clear the screen next step make sure that you set your open ai's api key and this is a paid option so you would need to go to platform.openai.com and get your open ai underscore api underscore key from there and set it environment variable here let me set it and then clear the screen i have set my open ai key everything is installed now in order to create your own software from this software company which is chat dev all you need to do is do this python 3 run.py and then we are simply giving it a natural language task that write a python program to print agentic magic that's it and then the name of my project is agentic magic now of course it's a very simple thing but you can write any software here one question it won't it won't do everything here but it will do most of the thing and you'll be surprised by its capabilities one other question is that we are using api for gpt4 and if your project is big and huge and even for a medium one um, you could be charged quite high so make sure that you are aware of that this cost could get higher um, really rapidly so it depends upon your project so let me run it it is running it is thinking and then it is also going with the open age token how many it is using and then it is just thinking step by step this is what agent do here you go it is thinking everything that okay and then as a code it is also reviewing the code all the you know there you go generate generate magic as a programmer it is also giving some error it is going to resolve it by itself i will let it run there you go don't worry about the error it is going to just fix them by itself where it can the chat dev has end and uh, it has also so generated the code i will show that code to you shortly but if i just scroll up and show you what it has done let me scroll up at the top you can see it has done a lot of things here even my screen is um you know run out so it has you see it has found error it has fixed few then it is again going making multiple passes it is chatting with different agents within the um its own uh, environment it is role playing assistant role name is programmer user role name is software test engineer so one is creating the program and then test engineer is uh, creating the testing and then this is a function which is being created and then you see it, there is an error but it has fixed it it is talking to itself that to fix this bug you need to remove this 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 and then the bug is removed the error is resolved and then so on and so forth anyway so this is our chat dev directory if i do ls to ls you see you will see there will be a folder somewhere called as warehouse there you go go into warehouse click ls and then here there are a lot of existing projects and there should be your own project with the name of agentic magic so let's go into agentic magic let's do ls and then from here this is your whole project which it has created let me do it clear the screen properly this is your whole project and in order to run it all you need to do 
just take it out and then main.py you run it and then it will create run the project for yourself and let me also quickly show you the main.py there you go so it's a full main function and you see that it has a lot of other stuff there agentic magic prompt requirement meta you can simply package it and ship it to your user and that is how easy it is to create the software with the help of this chat tab i mean this is simply um i would say magic and these are the early days of these framework just imagine what is in the future so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it i will drop the link to it in video description play around with it let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as that helps a lot thanks for watching